Jake! Be smart. Don't kill yourself. Uh, but my big test is will this run? Hey guys, we just got a new battery from Vic Off Road. Look at it there. I'm going to unpack it in this big ass box. A uh, bit of a mission with the uh, postage on it. It's 30 kilos. I didn't realize. Oh, 28 kilos. So I was getting it delivered to Australia Post and I didn't realize how heavy it was. So Australia Post rejected it. So now I'm going to a depot in town in Catherine. Um, but anyway, long story short, we figured it out and we've saved it. And I just want to show you, oh, this is me taking it out of the box. It's the biggest, heaviest battery I've ever seen. Look at the size of the box. Look at the size of this thing. I can barely lift it. The suspense is killing me. Right. Oh my God, guess what's inside here? Battery? A box. Oh. Look, Atom Power. This is Atom Power by Vic Off Road. At least you can open the box within um, the it's box. Inside of the box. Take the box yeah. Look at all the packaging around it. Oh my god, it's massive. <laughs> it's inside of plastic as well. Hi. <laughs> um, here's fifteen percent off for one of you lovely viewers. Anybody wants fifteen percent off, or ten percent off, or twenty percent off, whatever percent off, just let me know and we'll get it for you. Hundred percent off. <laughs> right, I can't, I can't actually do that, but uh, I hope you enjoy me saying it. I never dreamed in my wildest dreams ever in my life that I'd have a battery this big! Yeah! <laughs> you sound so dumb. It's so heavy. I am dumb. Um, so we're going to be installing this underneath our couch. Um, right now our battery is underneath next to the chassis rail, but there's no box that's going to hold that. So that's going to sit under the couch. I'll make up a little bracket or something to hold it still. Uh, and it's lithium, so I've got to change some of my settings on my battery management system. Apparently it's all good for li lithium. But I've got to change some stuff around. I'm not even sure if my car can charge the lithium without a DC to DC charger. Um, I just got to look into what I have and see if I can make this work without having to buy anything else. That'd be great. <laughs> um, so in, in the uh, thing, you get your little instruction manual. These little things screw out, they're little protectors. Boom. Then it also gives you the bolts as well, so put your cables underneath. So it's got everything we need to make it work. Oh my God, it's big. Um, it's definitely smaller now that it's out of the box. Huh? Oh, my baby. I wanted to put the battery in this area here. It looks really small. Oh, look, it's big. All right, you it's hold this. It's pretty big. Instead of measuring it, I'm just going to try it. Is that a good idea, Kaden? No, you have to measure. All right, here's the big battery. Ooh. Really? Oh, now that I've seen it. Now that I've seen it. <laughs> Now that you've seen it, you don't you don't think it's gonna fit? Oh crap! Now it's a big fuss again. Well, this is exactly what I was thinking that was. Yeah, it is a bit of a big battery, isn't it? Am I going to mat? Oh, Damn it, it's heavy. I thought lithium batteries were light, bro. That is heavy. Um, it will fit in there. I just can't get it down on that weird angle because of the hot water systems in the way. Maybe yeah, we don't even need it. Too hot here. <laughs> we don't need the whole house. Oh, well, this is the best thing you've ever invented. Damn it, if I just if I just chip this wood here, it will go straight in. Really? I wish we had a front cupboard. Why don't you chip it? Oh, you need it so that you can shut the car. Yeah. Is that close? Just cut it. Yeah. Yeah, you can cut it. I can't just cut, cut it. it. No, it's, it supports us while we're sitting on there, man. So if I just cut that one little bit, would it work? Yeah, I think. Or it's just going to be a bigger box. Knowing you, you cut it. Why are you telling me just to cut it for? Because that's what you do. Yeah. You, you put, put a it... hole in our bench at home to stick at the fridge. That was a beautiful fridge. You cut things. Oh, damn it. Look how massive it is. Where the hell is one going to put that thing? Don't know. This is the dilemma. All right, sign back in later. We've got to do some thinking. Um, it looks like I've got to do a tiny bit of cutting because I need the battery to fit there. There's no other place for that to go. So I'm just going to cut a little bit out of here just to make it make it fit. You know, yeah, it is. You just got to cut things. Like Danica said, I, I'm good at cutting stuff. Yeah, babe. Cut everything. Cut everything. All right, well, let's give this. Problem later. It'll be a later problem. It should be fine. I 
I did measure it, love. I measure everything. Wow, ruined forever. Don't be like that. I still have a feeling I'm going to have to go a bit further. Because it's not the angle and stuff. You want to see? No point vacuuming and if I need to do that, isn't it? Oh shit, it's very heavy, that's why it's going to break. Damn it! Alright, well, I'm going to cut a bit more and it's going to be ugly, so I don't want to show you. The end. Uh, well the battery's in, so I'm going to have to wire it up um, to this unit here. Um, there is a couple of little switches that I can flick over to make that lithium compatible. And it does a thing, the car does not have a smart alternator so that'll charge the lithium all good just using that system so I don't have to change that. Um, hopefully the inverter is powerful enough now with using that battery to run the air conditioning. Um, so that's going to be the, the game changer here. Anyway, watch me uh, muck around with power cords and crap like that. Alright, so we've got the tools out again. We're pulling this battery box apart because this is the old battery. She's also got a big dog in there, 120 I think. Um, so we're pulling that one out. Um, then I've got to figure out how I'm going to do the wiring because obviously the wiring all stops here and I need it to come up up in here inside and wire into the new battery. So I might have to extend some of the wires a little bit. So I might have to pop down to uh, J car or something and get some new fittings um, to make that work. Solder it all together, make it pretty. Okay, so I've removed the old battery and I've wired in um, using my basically the wiring harness that I had going to my inverter inside. Um, I've attached those wires together. She's all strong, you know. I'm not an electrician, so I'm not going to show you all the work, but it is Mickey Mouse. Um, you can take my word for that. Um, but these wires here go up inside. They're going to go directly to um, the battery management or the battery and the inverter. Um, I've got some more wires here. We're going to wire it all up, and I bet you it's going to work. It's going to be fine. Um, but as I always say in my videos, get an electrician to do yours. Um, don't work on your own stuff if you're not, um, I don't know, capable. Don't, just, I don't know, be smart. Don't kill yourself, this is electrical stuff. All right, it's gonna be fine. All right, so my battery system is projector. Um, so that's the little thing you got on your wall here. Underneath the couch is this system here. Now, because I'm wiring up that um, lithium, as you all know, that's what we're watching. Down in here is a little chart of what we need to have it set at. So, for lithium, I want that thing charging at 30 amps on AC, solar, uh, and AC, solar charge. So, I want that all at 30 amps, because that's fine for lithium, and that's fine for my battery, because it's quite big. It's not a small battery. Coming over to this side, so here is um, LFP, which is your lithium battery. Um, it says, so the system knows we're using lithium, um, I need to have... Uh, three, which is this little thing here. Man, I hope you can see that, but that's that little, basically the tiniest little adjustment. All I need to do, because we're hooking up a lithium, is change three to on. Because they're all on off at the moment, which is not off, off, but I mean, that's how it is. It's on or off. Um, so right now, that's this thing that you want it set at to tell this projector system that we're now on lithium. Um, once again, refer to the manuals, refer to the people, don't uh, rely on me 100%. Um, but after reading the crap out of the instructions and looking at all these things, that's how I set it onto lithium. So I'm going to keep going. Uh, we've almost got it wired up. Let's get a couple more wires to plug in and uh, that's all going to be working in a sec. Alright, wiring up, wiring up. Got the positive wire on the inverter. The negative wire, in this circumstance, is going to be orange because I had to go to a electrical shop to get that, but it is big gauge, so we're all good. I've uh, got a couple of connectors as well, so I'll put that together and we'll have a negative wire and we're gonna have the inverter working and the battery working in very shortly. Ta-da! Negative earth wire ready to roll. Okay, so under here we've got positive and negative. We've got all good, we're wired up to the inverter now. That's all fine. That seems to be... So PV is our solar, that's solid, so that's um, getting a good solar signal. Flashy means it's just charging the battery all good. Um, I flicked that over to the lithium style now. Rebolted in the inverter. We've got all the wiring sorted now. Um, battery's going to be secured. I'll do that shortly uh, in my own way. I won't show you that as well because I'm a bit shonky like that. But I will secure the battery. Um, everything seems to be working. Let's have a crack at it now. Oh. Yes. 
charging. So we got the battery's getting charged by solar right now at 13 volts, so that's great. Lights are on. Well, that was the install. The battery's installed. We're working. It's working. Guys, it's working. I gotta pack up all these tools. Oh. In 200 amp hours. This thing better run the coffee machine. This is what this is all about. Uh, the air conditioning would be ideal, but this is the main thing. On. Is it gonna have to go beep, beep, beep the whole time like normal? Okay. It's not going beep, 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 beep. We're still running 12.5 volts through the lithium. Oh, please work. Imagine if this works, baby. Imagine. Imagine this is a coffee machine. Imagine. Don't mind the dog here on the coffee machine. Got a dog. Yeah, we're only 13 volts still. So it's still charging good. It's still getting a charge. Usually with that, this would be down around 11 volts by now. And it'll be really struggling. Now we're going to press this button here, which really kills it usually and that's going to do its thing let's see what this drops to 12.5 still coffee's coming out this is working coffee's coming out now we're going to see how we're going to go oh there we go oh we run a little bit it's struggling it's not struggling it's still 12.5 that's great no beer pen coffee's made so the coffee's done Hey, that's worked. And we're still up at 13, still charging back up at the top dog. Oh, as, as I said, the inverter beeps constantly when we're making coffee usually. So I'm pretty bloody stoked that that's just all just worked. We've made a beautiful coffee, the coffee machine's all good. I do want to test it on the air conditioning. I'm going to unplug my amphibian into my inverter, run my power cord to the um, hole of the caravan, um, just to see if this air conditioner behind me or above me will run with this 200 amp hour battery. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we've got the um, inverter on, the amphibian on. Let's turn this air conditioner on and see what happens. Oh, it's turned on. We'll just leave it at sort of 22 degrees, fan speed low, just to see what happens right now. It's on. We've still got full battery. But I'm not sure if the compressor's kicked in yet. Let's make the compressor kick in. Let's go 20 degrees. Come on. Oh. Don't mind my dishes and stuff, we haven't cleaned up. Yeah, you know, typical wheels by the ocean stuff's all a mess. Because it's real life, it's not um Make believe clean caravan and clean car 24-7. Right, let's pop this fan speed up and see what happens. Fan speed on two. Oh, there goes the compressor. The comp Time is 337. So let's see how long this thing lasts for. At 20 degrees, it's fan speed two, and just see how much it uh, can cope with. I wonder, I really am curious. Okay, I've had the air conditioning set at 20 degrees on fan two, as I said before, for one hour, and it's still going. Yes, we've got sun, so the solar might be holding charge, but considering my deep cycle battery, when I tested this, ran the air conditioning for about a minute, minute and a half at the most, we're still going and it's cold in here. This is beautiful. What the hell, man? We might be able to go free camp and use air conditioning. I'm gonna get more batteries, baby, like a hundred. Okay, this is one and a half hours, and we're still cold. This is a Dometic Ibis 4. It's got that soft start, so it's good for inverters, but I didn't think we we're gonna get this much out of it. Imagine if we had a million amp hours. Ooh. All right, after a whopping two hours, obviously we had the, the sun coming in, the air conditioning finally turned off and the uh, inverter down here has got its little red light on. So we'll just give that a little refresh. So we got that battery down a little bit. What happens if I try to turn it on one more time? Let's see. What happens now? Yeah, the battery, I've killed it now. So she's coming down. It is turning on. 11.5 volts. 
Oh, I think I think I've pushed it enough. Regardless, the 200 amp hour just ran the air conditioning for two hours. Hey, that's pretty bloody good. So I want to see what that does. I'm going to let this whole thing charge all back up again. Um, so we're at full charge, 400%. Um, then I just want to run it at night time when we're getting no sun in and just see how long it does it for then. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know how that one goes. I'm um, just running a test with the air conditioner again. This time we are off grid. Uh, we are driving off grid at the moment. Got the air con. Been cranking about 10, 15 minutes so far. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on it and see how long we can get out of this battery. I probably won't drain it completely dead because I need to use the laptop. Um, but my big test is will this run for a good a good hour, you know? And if that's the case, it just takes that bit of heat off at the start of the dog. All right, we still have full battery and the, and the AC has been running for over an hour now. So it's about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, nothing wrong with that, hey? Nothing wrong with that. Still going good. Just a bit more of a review for you. It's, it's getting a bit chilly now, so we're gonna turn it off, but hey, I reckon that a 200 amp hour, you're probably going to get about an hour and a half to two hours out of that, probably, you know, give or take. Um, but that's pretty bloody good. This battery has been awesome. I hope that you enjoyed watching me fit it up and drill my couch apart and uh, everything's all good and it's working. We've tested it now for about two, three weeks-ish. I think it's been about three, three or four weeks, I think, in total we've tested the battery. Um, we're sitting off grid now using everything like we should be um, the air conditioner we've used a few times coffee machine We've used every day um, It's a bloody good battery mate. 